In this video, we look at the progression that we have made while once again answering the questions that you guys may have regarding to the series. Once again, it's just a crap thought of Kara Vengeance Fine Killing, but this time I did get lucky and get poetry exchange on one of the commissions. So we are now AR20, but what does this actually mean for us? Probably the biggest things to know are the unlocking of the Spiral Abyss and the Battle Pass. Although it says that the Spiral Abyss is unlocked, we can't actually access it since it's outside of the map boundaries. The Battle Pass, however, was something that we do have access to. It shows up on the pause menu and you can access it by pressing the F4 key. The contents and its functions are the same. You complete tasks and get Battle Pass XP in order to up your level to get various items. What did surprise me, however, was the fact that you could buy Battle Pass weapons. This means that it is technically possible to get Battle Pass weapons to upgrade no element traveler, but we won't do that since it's pointless for the most part. With the unlocking of the Battle Pass, we have unlocked a new form of content for no element traveler. Although it takes more effort, it is still possible to complete most of the Battle Pass missions. The daily missions are pretty straightforward. You log in, mine some iron chunks, and spend some resin. Weekly missions, however, are a bit more complicated. You can collect 100 monster specialties using some routes, but it is impossible to collect 100 Lyria specialties since Lyria is outside of the map. Using resin and defeat boss enemies are pretty straightforward tasks that can be completed. Cooking 20 items can be done in various ways, but one way to do it is to collect mushrooms around the map and buy files from draft to cook chicken skewers. Forging 20 items can be done by mining 40 iron chunks to craft 20 enhancement ores. And finally, domain completions can be completed by repeating Kaya's domain, also known as the Temple of the Wolf. Honorable mentions go to completing 20 ley lines and spending 500k mora. The ley line ones are pretty self explanatory. If it's outside of the map too much, you can't finish it. And spending 500k mora is, although possible, is actually pretty hard to do due to the limited ways of earning mora. Perhaps if you get extremely lucky and have gold ley lines to farm every day, then you might be able to reach it. But for the most part, this is too hard to achieve. So that's the Spar Abyss and the Battle Pass out of the way. Now we look at what other stuff has been unlocked from our resin progression. The first one would be the world level ascension increase. Hitting AR20 will increase your world level from 0 to 1, which increases the level of monsters you encounter in Tavai. The Crown of Edges find, however, didn't change much since the level increase was from level 36 to level 37. Temple of the Lion, also known as Lisa's Domain, unlocks at AR18. Oh well then. There is also this new recipe that you unlock the AR20 from Good Hunter. It's a 2 star healing food which can be easily made since all ingredients can be bought from shops. I was also able to participate in a marvelous merchandise event by talking to Liber in one start. A few videos ago, I mentioned that we spent around 8 to 10 minutes to kill this Regis Fine, but now with better artifacts, I can now shrink down this time to around 5 minutes. The main reason is the change of the Purple Bloodstain Attack Cup to a Blue Physical Damage Cup. On screen, you should see a damage comparison between the blue physical damage cup and the purple attack cup with various food buffs. The comparison isn't perfect as it does not take into account crit chance and the subset of specific artifacts. But roughly speaking, this comparison can at least state that the blue physical damage cup can perform better than the purple attack cup. You can definitely deal more damage using even better builds, but I'll save that for a future No Element Traveler video. We are now at the section of the video where I answer the questions that you guys may have regarding to the series. Is the missing person poster outside the bar? Wait, yeah, it's not there, it's not there. I've decided to check some extra poster spot just in case I'm missing something. Okay, so it's not here. How about the other side? Just in case. Yeah, okay, so it's not here either. And it's not on top of this church ledge as well. I was originally going to do a poster comparison between NPC Ether and my main account, but this happened. Wait, where is it? Did I make a mistake? Okay, it should be. What? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Why are there no missing person posters? What? No, no, no. That's 100% one there. So. It's definitely gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not here either. So someone must have taken it down. Is it because of the new Archon Quest? I mean, that has to be the only explanation. So by answering this question, I gave myself more questions. Judging by the number of Horde Force core he has in his inventory, he has killed X amount of Regis Vine. Regarding to the Horde Force core, since my road level is only one, I could get either one or two Horde Force core. I do actually have a really good estimate on the amount of times I've killed this thing, even without the archive, but I'll save it for another video. Is there no gnome bug to cross the limit and get one more statue of the seven? 
There was one, but it has since then been patched in the 1.4 update. However, even if I can, I still won't since it defeats the whole purpose of this series. Can you push your Crown Abyss Mage to the Hidden Island? According to NPC Ether, what nameless island? Couldn't you technically co-op when you get a high enough AR rank to do the domain? I'll talk about this in the next episode. I wonder if you'll be able to participate in events once you hit AR20. It really depends on the current event, but the current event, which is the Marvelous Merchandise, I was able to do it. If NPC Ether doesn't have an element, is he still a 5 star? As you can see on the left, he's still orange, which means that he's still a 5 star character. I'm from Brazil and I'd like to see this video. I hope you can change the game with these videos. Thanks for watching. Subscribe or face divine punishment. I'm just kidding. Thanks for watching though. Okay, so here's the character builds for this episode. Ether level 40, 60, and 69. Running prototype one core, refund rank one. Artifacts, four piece berserker, flower, feather, attack, physical, and crit rate. Constellation is 0 and Talent is level 1. Now the weapon has to be at level 20 because we don't actually have the weapon essential materials to ascend it. And the Talent has to be on level 1 because we need to be character ascension phase 2 to level up. And we are currently at character ascension phase 1. So that will be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode.